Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is a Tony Award-winning actress you know from 30 Rock and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Just initial where it says uncontested and then sign at the bottom. And then I can use this pen to apply to college. College? Good for you. I wish I had gotten my degree. Back before Julian, I went for a year, but ran out of money. Trump University. Go pricks. Please welcome Jane Krakowski. What, what do we have here? Well, I heard you were under the weather, so I ran and got you some chicken soup when Danny was on. Oh, you're kidding. You literally yeah. ran out and got me some soup? Yeah, well, the soup Nazi is just a few blocks away. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> it my really God. It really is. It really is. I, honest How to God, enjoy? I just want to put on a snorkel <laughs> and get in here. Well, nice to see you again. So good to see you. And I just want to say, I need John's, like, workout tape, because backstage, waiting to come on, yeah. everybody's dancing and we're all grooving. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Now that I put on my Trump 10, I've... Got to work out a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. I haven't heard about the Trump you 10. You're like a freshman 15? No, I understand Oof. that. No, no, I totally have the Trump 10. You do too? I'm just stress eating See? all the time. <laughs> oh, hold on, I'll be right with you. Mm. I know, mm. but I could jam out to that. That might actually help. Your music is amazing. Oh, no, thank um, you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for this. I'm definitely yes. going to eat this. Uh, happy belated Mother's Day. Oh, thank you. I know you, you, have, a, you have a son, yes? I do. I have a six-year-old little boy named oh, Bennett. Six is perfect. Perfect. Aww. Yeah, my mother used to say <laughs> that just when you get them all, like, you know, great company, they can take care of themselves, they can hold a conversation, and, like, the school's going to go, okay, we'll take them now. Right, exactly. Just when they're perfect. It's right when we can get them to work at home. Exactly. Is it, is it, uh, <laughs> really? They can make their bed and everything. Uh, is he impressed to have a TV mom, like, famous TV mom? Uh, well, he definitely knows I'm on TV, and he says that my mom's an actress, but I don't know if he knows exactly what that means. I mean, I do think show business has worn off on him, but perhaps maybe not the best bits. What do you, what do you mean? Well, he was on a school, a school field trip the other day, and, you know, there's always parent chaperones, and sure, sure. one of the parent chaperones took out their camera, and my son went, oh, no, paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how did that go over? <laughs> He's not on the school website. <laughs> so he did, literally did have photos uh, taken of him? Yeah, he, no, he literally went, I think he went like this. I think he... Oh, wow. Yes, he got himself out of the photos. Mm -hmm. Mommy's trained him that when you see people pull out a camera on the street that you walk away. <laughs> um, now, you were a child star. Would you recommend you... No, you were. You were, I mean... I worked as a child. Well, what, what? I mean, I think the best thing actually that happened to me that was that I was not a child star, that I just got work... Okay, you to worked encourage as an actress, you to keep going, but I didn't. Yeah, but I okay. wasn't really. No. So you were you were a child actress. How yeah, about great. that? Super. Would you recommend? Uh, let's edit everything out that I said that's wrong. Um, <laughs> no, no, it's not wrong. But I do think. No, that... No, no, you've attacked me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel attacked. The soup, the soup softened me up, and then the knife See? went right in. Yeah. I'm emotionally <laughs> fragile right now. I have a cold. Um, but would you recommend? Would you recommend that your childhood to your own child? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. He hasn't shown the need for applause like I have. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, it's, <laughs> it's easy to want it from such beautiful people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do go on. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Go on. Oh, no, no. You were telling a fascinating story of your childhood. <laughs> No, but, like, does he want to go do it? Like, or, or would you let him go do it if he said, Mom, I want to go do it? I mean, I would if he obviously ha it showed an extreme interest. Extreme interest. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But I, yeah, I don't know. He went on his first red carpet the other day, which, you know, I, we went to go see the opening Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, which uh -huh. I loved for kids. It was great. And he bought a suit for the first time, and he wanted, he knew he was going to walk the red carpet. And so we went out, and he got a little shy at first, and he was really comfortable with it. And he started, like, easing into it. And somebody said, excuse me, could we get a solo shot of your mom? And he goes, yeah, only if I get a solo shot, too. <laughs> <laughs> so he might be ready. Oh, cut that guy loose. <laughs> cut that guy loose in Hollywood. He'll be fine. <laughs> now, this is the first time uh, I've had you on since we've had a new president. Yes. And what I did not know, but I knew you were in Starlight Express, but one thing I did not know about you 
is that that somehow gave you access to this American historical figure. <laughs> What's going on? That's you right there. I'm and just, that yeah. guy just gave away state secrets to the Russians. <laughs> what? How did this photo come about? What is happening? We were uh, brought to open Wilman Rink. Which skating rink here, skating rink here in New York. Trump kind of made a name for himself by getting it done. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, but it was a little weird because it's an ice skating rink, but we were in a show about roller skating. Yeah. So. Does he know the difference between the two of those <laughs> things? The question. I was. I mean, I was only 17, so I wasn't even able to vote at that time. But um, I don't know. Like he, he didn't eye me up at all, or. He didn't eye you up. Meaning he didn't, he didn't, he didn't chat up you up or anything. No. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised because this is. This is, can I this one? Yeah. This is not you. I actually thought this was a picture of you when it was brought to me. That's Marla Maples. That's his second wife. Yes. Yeah. Who is, I have to say, is the person I am most misrecognized for. People think you're her People and she's me, you? It depends what's happening in the world when I get recognized for Marla Maples. But, I mean, like, recently, this past year, a lot of people have asked me if I was her. Uh-huh. So Are that, you, that's a thing. Yes. <laughs> so, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, is it, uh, is it available now on Netflix, the uh, whole darn season, or is it this Friday? This Friday. Oh, that's lovely. It's a fantastic show. It's a tremendous show. Congratulations. Aww, you're so sweet. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, season three, is on Netflix this Friday. Jane Kukowski, everybody.